And in the fighter people that you may not agree with, philosophically or spiritually or you know who may have thrown jesus under the bus and you know they're they're that may be an ignorant point but they're still working for truth i know there's like a mixed bag out there and you just have to flow with it you know and they might even persecute you even though you're on the same side just know that every bit of persecution that you get you know is counted as as uh money and wealth to God. In other words, it, it shows the riches of your, you know, I mean, com, com, you know, wealth is probably a bad metaphor, but it means you're very wealthy. Um, you, you're very high up. You're very uh, acknowledged, you know. Everything you do for the kingdom, in other words, every hit you take, every sabotage, every, every lie, everything that happens that makes you feel bad, every time you have a whole day going by that makes you feel bad and you can't get out of bed, that's another success. Because feeling bad means that you're living in the truth. Feeling bad means you're, you're standing in truth for the Lord. You're doing it for God Yahweh. You're doing it for Jesus Christ. You're doing it. You're giving something to him that you can give. Every day you feel bad. Every day you feel like, you know, fear. And then you have to go to him because you feel they're circling around, 10,000 around. Remember... God is your salvation and he'll save you from it. Every time that you feel beleaguered, you need to go hide. Every time you feel bad, every time you feel rejected, every time you feel, you know, you're being unduly persecuted, every time you feel any of those things, it is being acknowledged, ka-ching, ka-ching, you're building up your bank accounts in heaven. And that's, you know, the way you have to look at it. You're a very wealthy, powerful person. Otherwise, you wouldn't notice anything going on. Every time they look at you on the street and they diss you out of hand without even knowing you, just because of the light you're putting out, you know, that light. Every time they do that to you, remember, that's an acknowledgement. Every time they make grunts and groan sounds around you, you know, gang stalking and all that. Every time they pull that crap, you know, street theater and gaslighting and all those things. Every time it's counted as, a, as another bolstering for you. You've, you've just gained a whole lot more because these persecutions that are mental and in and, and the spirit and you're sensitive and you feel them all is the same thing Paul went through. You know, you can boast of those persecutions. Every one of those is a stripe. A mental attack is just as much as getting a whip, a stripe on your back or an incarceration. Every one of those counts equally. Every time you're made to feel awful, a whole day goes by where you can't even move. That is stripes on your back that you can boast of. Yes, they did it to you. You don't feel, people don't feel bad just out of the blue. People don't just go and feel bad. Feeling bad all the time. Oh, and how many people have come up to me, oh, you feel bad? Yeah, I feel bad, man. Well, what are you doing that's, you're not in, in right with God then? Or, or, you, or you have joy? No, I don't have joy. I feel bad. Well, if you feel bad, all the time, that's not good for your health. Well, I, what can I do about it? I'm doing what God wants. You see, I've gotten to the point that I understand that feeling bad is not something that needs to be cured. It took me, I don't know how long to get to that point where I could go, you know what? I feel bad, but it's okay. It doesn't need to be cured. I feel awful. I doesn't need to be. I feel fearful. I need to go into my prayer closet and get right with the Lord again because it's 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 Him where I have the relief, not the world. So okay, that's good. That's another that's another kaching. That's another stripe. That's another acknowledgement in the kingdom of God that you know. Wow, you you you're wealthy. You're you're doing really good. I feel bad, and there is no way out of feeling bad. Exactly. I feel bad and there's no therapist that can make me feel good. Exactly. I feel bad and there's nothing that nothing that can be done about it. Exactly. I feel bad because people are throwing stuff at me in the spirit. Exactly. I feel bad because they want me to blink and then, then they relish in my feeling bad when they feel, and it makes them feel good. And precisely. And I feel bad and there's no way to feel good. Yes. Then another day comes. I feel good today. I don't even know why. 
and I acknowledge the Lord, thank you, Father. That's good, too. I feel good. There's no reason for it. Exactly. I feel bad. There's nothing I can do about it. Exactly. I feel good and bad, and I there's no remedy for either way. I got the blues, but there's no way to... Uh, there's no move I can make to get rid of the blues. Exactly. He must make the move. I feel bad, but it's good because I'm suffering for Christ. Yes. And the more that you can stand it, the, the more that Jesus is exalted. I feel bad because I've realized this world's not about me and there's nothing that I know, know, know anything that I can either gain or achieve in this world in any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Exactly. I feel bad because I don't have the respect of humanity. Even though I've done all these things worthy of respect, they diss me even all the more when I do good. Exactly. Everything I've done is punished no matter how good it is. Precisely. So what's the complaint? I have low self-esteem. Wonderful. I don't feel good about myself. Wonderful. I feel powerless. Wonderful. I don't feel I have the confidence to really do anything. Wonderful. I promise you there will be a day you will feel good. I promise you there will be a day you feel acknowledged. I promise you that all of the wealth that you've, you've amassed for yourself will be revealed to you, enjoyed by you, acknowledged, and even before your death and not some pie in the sky down the road. You will see the dawn. You will see a great day. But... Don't expect the world to be in anything less than chaos and going down when that day happens. Don't expect the world's going to celebrate because the world um, is changing. The guard is changing. Jesus is inheriting the kingdoms of the earth. And that painful transition is what you're seeing used by the grease, the grease of the wheels as communism to bring it about a failure of communism and the takeover of Jesus Christ. And that's basically what will eventually happen. He will take charge of the kingdoms of this earth, and he and already has. And you know, it will be a day where, yeah, you will feel good. All that you'll 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 won't even remember the times you felt bad. You'll feel good all the time, and you won't even know why. You just go praise God. I just feel good all the time. This is amazing. I used to feel bad all the time, but as we get more into the light which is happening. And that does come through after 2012 hits and into 2013, 14, so forth. And as we get more into the light where the kingdom of the earth become the kingdom of Christ, you will feel ecstatic and all the suffering you went through will be acknowledged and uh, you'll be paid for it in things finer than gold. And you'll be established forever and ever, like the stars in the heaven. And no one will, uh, you will not only be a black, not be a black hole, but you'll be acknowledged and your name will be acknowledged. Your new name that Christ gives you will be acknowledged forever and ever and ever as one who did it, one who achieved, one who, you know, all the things that you wanted in this world will be given to you and in the sight of men in, in, before this world's expired. And it's already happening. And they will end up following you. And the, and the churches will end up having to repent and follow what you're doing. They're not going to be able to keep on the track they're on because the state is failing them. And God will thank you. He'll reward you. And he's already rewarding you. You're When they're doing bad, you're doing good. I mean, it, unfortunately, it's like a seesaw like that. That's the way it is for now. When those times come where the whammy oppression gets thrown on you, and I know there's some of you very sensitive to it that get, have your whole day ruined because of it, um, 
it's going to become more light as we get closer to 2012 and 2013, 14, 15, and so forth. It's going to become very light to where things happen and you just brush it off like, oh yeah, and you don't take it personally. You have to understand it's not personal. The demons in them see Christ in you and then wage war. It's just that simple. It's not about you, it's about Christ. Okay, Jesus already told you you'd be going through this. Did he tell you you'd be sitting there singing Kumbaya in church, everybody holding hands and being lovey-dovey? No, he said he would bring division and a sword. He would rend all that. He would, he would destroy the re religious establishments. Which in the old day with the Pharisees and today would be the modern church. He would destroy it all. He will not let stand the obelisk and the cross together. That will not stand. You can't have it both ways. And, and you know, the, the truth will out. But we're in a transition period and we're going to a godly time. And there's going to be a respite in all this evil. And so there's going to be like a little respite to give people a chance to repent. And then more hellacious stuff will happen. So it's, it's kind of going back and forth. But let's see, how long have we been feeling bad here? We've been feeling bad the last decade, certainly since 2001, since the uh, attacks on the, you know, the, the towers went down. Okay, so we've been feeling bad about a decade. Eh, I wouldn't, exp you know, I'd say probably about another couple of years or so. I mean, you're going to start lightening up. And um, are they feeling bad? Well, they're kind of... God's going to hypnotize them again, you know, and give them a false hope that their way is really going to work out and it's going to be hard for them. It's going to be, you know, it's it, 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 the transition, the changes we're going through is basically dark to light, not light to dark. It's dark to light. And that's the struggle. 